What is good everybody? I hope you're doing well. Today is a gorgeous spring afternoon. It's probably about 55, almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit with a slight breeze, so it's a little chilly, but it's absolutely perfect. We will still try to get a few shots of some waterfowl and some wildlife, but I wanna kinda of go over three things that I think are keeping us uh, and putting a roadblock in front of you and I to uh, progress and be a better nature and wildlife photographer. Stick around to the end as well because there is a fourth one, a bonus one, that was hindering myself the most from growing. We're definitely gonna head out along the trailhead here. The first one is waiting for ideal weather conditions. Uh, a lot of us, once you get that nice golden hour, that nice blue hour, sunset, sunrise, golden shots, and that is ideal. <laughs> uh, but I think sometimes we neglect the overcast days, the days where you know it is harsh lighting conditions because you can still get some great shots, especially if you turn those into some black and white shots. Also days where you get some strong rainstorms or some thunderstorms can make for some really good photography, guys. I know it kind of stinks being out and all that, uh, but I personally enjoy it, I like it. I'm not saying to try to get stuck in a tornado, that's not what I'm suggesting. We definitely don't need some Wizard of Oz type shenanigans going down out in the field. But I I do think that that is hindering our ability to become good photographers is just limiting our creativity to just certain times a day, certain types of weather. If you do stick around long enough on the channel here, you will see me get laughed at by the waterfowl and the ducks and uh, get drenched in the pouring rain outside those normal, perfect conditions. Whoa! <laughs> so the second habit that I think is uh, hindering our ability to grow as a photographer is always upgrading to the newest piece of gear every single year when something new comes out. Now I'm not saying that we shouldn't upgrade, uh, we should upgrade, but I'm just saying that oftentimes consumerism and these, uh, these big tech companies just love to throw specs in our face and love to throw the latest and greatest technology in these cameras, and they're getting so good, guys. They really are. But mainly, uh, you know, get a good piece of glass. Get a very good piece of glass because your glass will last a very long time. Where bodies are continuously getting out of, you know, uh, growing old with technology, and uh, it's, you know, I think that the more the piece of gear is hindering your ability to get what you're looking for, the shot you're looking for, that's a good time to upgrade. But definitely slow down and learn the craft, learn the art of photography. I do think that gear can sometimes prevent us from growing as a photographer and upgrading every single year and not really honing your craft and honing uh, the love of photography and the art of photography, that's what's really gonna truly allow you to grow as a photographer, not just buying a nice fancy new camera every year, even though that does sound nice if you got the money.
video is sponsored by Luminar Neo, a wonderful all-in-one platform editing software that I exclusively use for all of my editing. And uh, it's just really cool because it has so many features that uh, allows you to be more creative uh, in the art of photography. And uh, so if you do not have an editing software, uh, check out Luminar Neo and it'll link will be down in the description below and use offer code Kevin N for 10% off your purchase. So one sign of spring is right around the corner is the massive influx of red-winged blackbirds. <laughs> Always love to see those little guys. So the next habit that I think hinders us as photographers, and that's really simply caring way too much what other people think of our photos. I'm really, or at least I used to be really bad at this. Over the last year or two, I've been really uh, not giving a flying hoot about what other people think so much. It's, it's all about having fun and finding joy in nature photography. And I find that the only way to truly find that joy is to appreciate your own artwork and your own photographs for you first, for your own mental clarity and your own mental well-being. I have been guilty, guys, so often. Just like how I say there's no such thing as a bad photograph, there's no such thing as a perfect photograph either. I heard a photographer once quote a really cool saying, and it kind of went something like, when you're 18 years old, you're always thinking to yourself, what are people gonna think? Then when you're 40 years old, you're always thinking to yourself, I don't care. And then when you're 60 years old, you start to realize people never really did care. Because when you do that, that's when you truly find joy in nature photography and you grow as a photographer. Well, it's definitely got really overcast really fast. And that brings me to the last and the bonus habit uh, that hinders us as photographers. Probably the number one hindrance that kept me from growing as a nature and wildlife photographer. And that's simply not finding friendships and building friendships with other photographers. I'm an introvert by heart, by nature. Um, I, I find that being alone, doing photography, um, has very many good benefits. However, not being around like-minded people uh, grow and learn with is extremely vital to our growth as photographers. And that hindered me so much. Something I've been doing lately to combat that is getting more involved with my nature preserves and my local wildlife refuges. I see other photographers that are out and about. Uh, definitely don't stop them in the middle of a shot and try talking to them. Uh, but definitely strike up a conversation during some downtime and uh, get to know them and just learn and share and grow from each other's experiences. And it's also kind of cool to talk about gear every now and then too. I'm gonna call this one and wrap it up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed those couple photographs that I was able to get in the bag. Nothing too fancy at all. Let me know down in the comments below what other habits that we tend to form as photographers that keep us from growing in our photography. Would love to hear about it. Until the next video, guys, remember there's no such thing as a bad photograph, only a missed opportunity. Get outdoors and enjoy that opportunity that is in front of you with your cameras. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.